In the first part of this module, we will deal with the automatic starting of the engines. Then we will study how to start the engines manually. We will start the engines using the automatic engine start procedure. During the start sequence, all the engine parameters are monitored, controlled and protected by the FADEX. In order to start the engines, the engine mode selector must first be switched to ignition start. This will be done for you. Engine 2 is started first, then engine 1. Let's start engine 2. The corresponding start valve opens. The fuel is reset to zero. On the engine warning display, N2 increases. It is displayed on a grey background. On the ACAM engine page the oil pressure increases. Approximately 30 seconds after selecting engine 2 master switch to on, an igniter, a RV, is powered. On the engine warning display, we see that the fuel begins to flow. When the fuel is ignited, the EGT increases. At 43% N2, the start valve closes and the ignition is switched off. Notice that on the ECAM engine page, the start valve is closed and the igniter indication disappears. N2 continues to increase. At approximately 58%, it stabilizes and the grey background disappears, indicating that the start sequence is finished. Engine 2 is now running, and all its parameters have stabilized. As soon as one engine is started, the limit mode changes to toga, or flex, if temperature has been entered on the MCDU performance takeoff page. Also the gross weight is displayed. Engine 1 has also been set to on, following the same procedure as for engine 2. Engine mode selector has been switched to normal. Both engines are now running and all their parameters are stabilized. We will now see how to start the engines manually. It is described in your FCOM Volume 3 in the Supplementary Techniques chapter. The engine manual start push button switches control their respective start valves. To start engine 2, raise the guard, and select engine manual start to push button switch. This will be done for you. On the engine manual start panel, the on light illuminates blue. On the engine manual start to push button switch, indicating that the start valve is open. N2 and oil pressure increase. N2 continues increasing to max motoring speed. 30 seconds after the engine manual start push button switch is pressed, select engine 2 master switch on. This will be done for you. By setting engine master to on, the fuel used is reset to zero. Both igniters are on. Fuel is supplied to the engine, the fuel flow increases, and 20 seconds after fuel is on, N1 and EGT increases. When N2 reaches 43%, start valve closes and ignition stops. N2 continues increasing. At about 58%, it stabilizes and its grey background rectangle disappears indicating that the start sequence is finished. The engine 2 is running and all its parameters are stabilized. Engine manual start 2 push button has been switched off for you. The manual start sequence of engine 2 is finished. If required, engine 1 can be started in a similar manner.